Close your eyes and picture this, the classic Christmas scene. A baby born for all of us makes the world seem more serene. But next to him, his mom and dad, filled up with newborn pride, feel awe and fear and doubt as well, emotions that collide. And since they're in a stable, there are others here inside, a cow, some sheep, a goat perhaps, plus bugs that bite their hide. There are pigeons in the rafters. There are rats amidst the feed. We don't add them to our carols, but barns have them, you'll concede. Depending on how long it's been since someone cleared the stall, there's also quite an odor that's unlikely to enthrall. It's loud in here and dark as well. The animals could spook, not quite what we imagined from the Gospel of St. Luke. But that's not all. No, not a bit. The scene gets even stranger when we stop to think who else we know is coming to the manger. Three or more fine magi, far off but now en route, are headed here with fancy stuff, some world-class snooty snoot. And also in the mix with us are shepherds with their flock. None of them can read or write, but they received a shock when angels, a whole host of them, sang praises in the sky and offered invitation to the crib of the Most High. How funny, yet how perfect, that a birth of human life is how God gets together those who otherwise find strife. With a baby at its center, this scene has ample room for more to be included than we'd otherwise assume. For if we step back further and note who else is here, those who get caught up with us at this hectic time of year, we see it's quite a motley bunch, a great menagerie, since no one is excluded from this barnyard family. The immigrant, the prisoner, the one who's hard to love, you cannot name a single soul God wants to get rid of. The grumpy cat, the mean old man, the pack of surly teens, obsessive fools who love to paint ceramic figurines, not only people whom you love or folks who think like you, but everyone from here and there, from Kiev to Timbuktu, or Moscow, for that matter, and countless other spots, even those at Mar-a-Lago with yachts inside of yachts. If Christmas tells us anything, it's that Christmas is for all. God sent us quite a message by being born within a stall. God can still connect us, though we try to pull apart. Even though we want to separate, God offers this fresh start. For who I am and what I do, the future I pursue, is all tied up with who you are and what is best for you. It all gets interwoven when we focus on this birth. God's own self is fused with ours and to all life on earth. Angels, cows, a mum and dad, critters high and low, shepherd folk and foreign kings, others we don't know, the stranger that we keep away, the neighbor still to meet, the people that we push aside. We just are not complete until we see that we are one, wrapped up in God's great scheme. I cannot be unless we are. Your hope becomes my dream. Then who I am and what I do, the future I pursue, is all tied up with who you are and what is best for you. Close your eyes and picture this, the classic Christmas scene. A baby born for all of us means a world made more serene.